Hello everybody, welcome to The Daily Sip. My name is Oliver and my mission is to bring you closer to organic Japanese green tea and today what we're gonna dive into is Fukamushi or so-called deep steamed tea and I wonder and I want to guide you through the second steeping and why it is so green. So when we talk about Japanese green tea, when we dive into the most common tea, which is sencha, you can actually split sencha into several subcategories. But what is actually or what the main region of uh, green tea production, which is Shizuoka, known for is its fukamushi or so-called deep steamed tea. This method was uh, developed after the Second World War when uh, Japan was confronted actually to the situation that it couldn't deliver or couldn't ship anymore to one of its main clients or kind of minor, one of its main markets which was the US green tea. So they had to be inventive and try to sell their common green tea to the Japanese people, but Japanese people as they were quite demanding in terms of taste and the Shizuoka tea in general has a little bit or a slight bitter note, it was hard for them to sell it directly after the Second World War. So they had to be a little bit innovative around how to render the tea sweeter. So what was developed with some stages is that they found out that the longer steeping or a so-called long, longer steaming or so-called deep steaming actually brings a smoother and sweeter notes to the tea without that the tea loses its nice vegetal and refreshing flavor profile. So what they started to do is really to develop this longer steaming process after production. So when you harvest the green tea, you to keep it green, you directly need to put it either into a steam bath or you have to pan fry them, but mostly it is steaming in which is applied and when you apply a longer steaming, what it actually happens is that the more astringent parts of the tea are actually suppressed. But what happens also in terms of the uh, leaves is that they get smaller and finer and the tea gets a little bit more brittle. This already happens in the production process when they start to extract the water from the leaves. So the leaves all, since the beginning they're rolled, they're kind of losing the water in the production process. They are breaking a little bit easier as the longer steaming actually um, uh, produces weaker cell membranes and the weaker cell membranes then render or kind of lead to tea leaves which break easier. So we can see this here. Here on the left side I have a Gyokuro which I have with me and on the right side I have the Fukamushi tea with me. And you can clearly see from the aspect of the tea that the Fukamushi, it doesn't on the one hand look as beautiful as the nicely rolled leaf teas of this Gyokuro for example, but also you can really see that it is, it is more brittle, very much or many smaller parts of the tea. So it is a tea which then finally has smaller particles which enter also into the, to the water, but later a little bit more about this tea. So we're going to concentrate completely uh, on the Fukamushi green tea. So when we talk about fush, Fukamushi green tea, these are, we talk about a beautiful vegetal taste. The vegetal taste is also linked to the sencha in general. So Fukamushi is nothing more than just a longer steamed or longer bath in the steam bath. Sencha and sencha in general is known for its beautiful, fresh, a little bit of a smooth, and also sometimes a little bit of an astringent flavor profile. But when we go into Fukamushi, there are these three elements which are the most predominant and the most important. One, we have the vegetal taste. Then the second one is the astringency which comes with it. And the third are the citrus notes. So when we go into a vegetal or in the taste of the Fukamushi, what we actually expect is on the one hand that it has this beautiful kind of fresh vegetal taste from a sencha. Then there's also a little bit of astringency with it, but astringency can, when it is not too strong, be a very or a great completion to the taste and can kind of freshens up the tea. And in the end, we have the citrus notes, which can be a little bit in the direction of pineapple or even in the direction of orange. So there, it's a very nice balance of the tea. 
And we know that the Fukamushi itself has a very beautiful, also full-bodied, strong flavor profile and its vegetal taste moves a little bit into kind of an ocean breeze, a little bit of a seaweedy background which is swinging with the tea, bringing in also a full-bodied and very round and smooth taste. And this in comparison to a typical sencha is quite different. Typical senchas can drift off also in more astringency and typical senchas they can have a little bit more of a drier flavor and in the tea where the tannins or the catechins are a little bit suppressed like the fukamushi you have a little bit less of this dry sensation and you can move the tea really in the citrusy or even sometimes fruity notes which we get from a fukamushi but let's go now into the steeping of this tea and as you know tea has to be steamed steeped more or less for 1 to 1.5 minutes if we talk about the normal sencha but you have seen before how small these particles are so this is the nice part also about the fukamushi that it's even less time that you use to steep it so here i just used five grams of the tea and um, what I will add is around 120 to maybe 150 milliliters, so four to six ounces of water um, with 70 degrees Celsius water. So here we talk about 165, 150, uh, 160, 165 Fahrenheit of water. So uh, we're just gonna leave it in for a very short time and then it is already brewed. So let's have a look how the first brewing of this tea will be. Let's go and have this already. We are already there. 45 seconds passed. Good. Just get out of all of the water. Very important. Good, this is number one. So what you can see already here is you have a nice, beautiful kind of green color of the tea, but you can all also see there's kind of a golden shimmer also with the tea. So it's not purely, purely mega green, but it also already moves a little bit in the direction of this nice greenness. And you can see at the bottom, you have a little bit of uh, the sediments, the smaller particles entering the tea water. But now let's go to the second brewing and this is the interesting one. The reason why this tea changes its color is that after the first steeping actually the leaves start to unfold and as soon as you uh, send in the second uh, infusion then these leaves they really give a much stronger color to the tea. And now let's have a look at this. So just put it on the side and you can really see the difference of this dark green color. And this is typical for the Fukamushi as in the first steeping, really the small particles, they just open up and then with the second flush, second kind of touch of water which you bring in, you can see how different the first and the second brewing of, these tea, of this tea is. So it's very, very, very beautiful. And it's just an amazing, an amazing experience just to see how this tea evolves from the first to the second brewing. And now I want to have a taste and see, is there also a taste difference? I'm expecting this one here a little bit stronger in its vegetal notes and maybe not as sweet as the first one, but let's, let's be sure how actually the taste of the tea evolves. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Very beautiful, sweet notes. I get pineapple, I even get mango with this one here. So it's an Okumidori from the Okumidori cultivar, this one here, which is not, nothing more than just a varietal. And I get a very beautiful kind of full body smoothness. I get a little bit of a nuttiness even with the tea. Very nice fruity notes. 
a little bit of slight astringency which is just freshening up the tea taste and it gives kind of a, a fresh lingering in my palate so very very beautiful first steeping and now let's see how the second steeping is Here we clearly go much more in the vegetal zone. So we have here this beautiful, beautiful kind of ocean breeze, a little bit of a seaweedy undertone, but it's very slight and you get much more of kind of a late summer grass um, kind of taste. You have a little bit more of astringency, but only slight. And the fruitiness, it just, it's sub, sub kind of sub orders itself a little bit under the other other tones meanwhile with the first steeping i really get a beautiful fruitiness of the tea itself and in the second one you have much more of this vegetable turnaround kind of much more of a kind of a green late summer grass note so very beautiful with the greenness also the green flavor or a little bit more of the grassy late summer grass flavor really comes out and it's on both um, brewings it is quite a refreshing tea so there's a beautiful refreshing astringency with it but we, it doesn't disturb you it more freshens up the tea so very beautiful mm -hmm. a lot of creaminess a lot of sweetness a little bit of this grassiness but it's really kind of it, it has its own kind of character in terms of it, this beautiful round sweetness. Meanwhile, this one here, mm -hmm. definitely showing more of a sweet, um, kind of green summer grass freshness with it. But the sweetness really kind of, it gets finer and this, this kind of more vegetal refreshing tones really get stronger and bringing the tea in a complete new direction in terms of its refreshing character. So definitely moving from a sweeter tone to more refreshing and grassy tone. So this is Fukamushi and I highly suggest you to try these tea ones look it up search on the internet for fukamushi for wenders also maybe even your tea store your local tea store has it it's just beautiful to just dive into this tea because it suits us so very well in the west because we don't are not fond of this kind of strong astringent tones and the fukamushi plays with this astringency bringing out sweetness first and then a more of a grassy tone while bringing also this astringency in your palate but without dominating, but more kind of refreshing the tea and the tea taste. Good. So I hope you like this one here too. And if you ever have a question, do not hesitate. Please comment, please like, please share, subscribe and tell your friends that we are here. We are happy to share our knowledge of Japanese green tea with you. And as always, we have the organic tea with us. So drink pure, live good. Thanks a lot and see you. Bye bye.